and we're going to use this p hat to estimate the population parameter p. Okay. So example 8.5, consider the data from a population of population size. So we use capital N here. Okay, the population size is equal to 10,000 people, indicating whether they do yes or don't, which is no, have wireless internet service at home. So the proportion of people who have their service is pi is equal to 0 0.6. That is to say, you know, the population proportion. So this stuff is equal to 0 0.6, 60%. So we call it population proportion. Now, if we randomly choose n is equal to 50. So 50 people were chosen from the population and we can get the sample proportion p hat, which is given by p hat is equal to the number of people who have the service in the sample divided by the sample size n. Okay, so now we have the population proportion and we have the sample proportion. In this case, we know the exact value of the sample proportion, which is 60%, right? But in, in realities, or in most of the cases, you will not know this value. So that's why we need to draw a sample, right? And then we, we calculate the sample proportion and then use this p hat to estimate this value. Okay, so the question is, if we repeat sampling many times, we would get different p hats. How the data of sample proportion is distributed, and what is the distribution of p hat? Okay, so that's you know the big picture I showed you before, right? So the 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 big blue circle is the population, and this white small circle refers to you know the sample proportion. Okay, so p hat varies for each sampling. So which means p hat should be random okay so for example we have um we have done m such experiments okay for the ith trial so i is is a number like between uh, like say one to m okay so for the ith trial let xi be one if yes and be n be zero if no so you will have x1 plus x2 plus x3 until xn divided by n. Here n is the sample size, which is 40, uh, 50, right? Which is 50. Okay. So this is your the formula of your p hat. Does it look familiar to you? Like, remember? This is the value Oh, sorry, the formula of x bar. So if you compare this formula to this formula, you're going to see they're exactly the same, right? So basically, p hat is just a special case of x bar. So all the pro uh, properties of x bars of x bar can be applied to the sample proportion p hat, right? So so what is the since p hat is a special case for x bar, so what is the difference between you know the p hat and the general general x bar? The difference is that for the general x bar, these x i's could be any kinds of values, right? But for p hat, those x i's are Bernoulli random variables, which means they're going to be either zero or one, right? So if if it's a one then it means yes. It means this randomly selected person has the service, okay? And zero means this randomly selected person does not have the service, okay? So it's going to be zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. So each xi has a value of zero or one, okay? So that's the only difference between, you know, this one, this stuff, and this stuff. Okay, so p hat can be considered as sample mean with expected value and variance given by the expectation of p hat is equal to pi and the variance of p hat is equal to this. Why is that? Let's consider, um, you know, the, the population proportion. 
is pi, right? Okay. Um, and also we know that the expectation of p hat is equal 